All right, so finalist gear here this weekend and last week in Pro AC. How's that going? How many pieces of, of uh, gear did you have to make for the finalist uh, grade school and junior high OAC? Well, I had to make two sets for for each you know each weight, so we're probably looking at about 140 uh, sets of gear. Uh, so it's lots, a lot of work, man. Lots and then some extras. <laughs> And that's something, you, they, if they make the finals, they get that, right? Oh yeah, they get it. They get a singlet and a two-piece. So that was what we wanted to add this year, to give them the option with the new rule coming out for them to allow, allow them to wear the two-piece if they choose. So it's up to them. You and I were talking earlier, you know, you did eight or six or eight Olympic teams? Eight Olympic teams. Eight Olympic teams. And yep. there's a lot of the Northern and Eastern European yeah. teams, right? Yeah, my Denmark guys are kind of my uh, international connection. Uh, so was introduced to them by Rich, Rich Estrella and just kind of boom from there. I'm, I'm in 17 countries though. Are you in 17 as, countries? Yeah, as far as singlets. Yeah. And you guys are in Cincinnati, right? Yep, Cincinnati. So how do you, you travel all this? You were in Rio, you went to all this stuff, yeah, right? I didn't go to Rio, but you I- You are in Paris though. Yeah, I, go to, I went to Worlds, I went to Cadet Worlds. Uh, just got back from Denmark. Uh, I'll probably end up going to Budapest as well, so usually follow wherever uh, Denmark goes. When you were a college wrestler, you, know, you look at it, now being able to give back, you know, Barbarian Apparel, first yeah. off, great hoodie. Thanks. We got the same one, yeah. right? Yeah. But you know, you talk about that, what's it like being able to, you know, now get into the gear sales and team sales and be able to, you know, do such a great event like the OECs? What's it, it like? It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you get to meet a lot of people. That's, that's the cool part. And, you know, you're never in the same spot. So, uh, always change the scenery. And the gear, you know, I get to, I get to design some cool gear. Where do you guys make a lot of your gear? Do you guys do a lot of it yourself? Uh, some is in house, some is overseas. So, what's it like? You know, Rudis is right in Columbus, well, Marysville. But do you guys have a lot of competition? Are you head to head with them a lot? Uh, I mean, we we are competitors, but you know, we're an affordable product and it's a quality product. So, I, I don't really, I'm not too stressed out about competition. I mean, there's so much business out there. Uh, you know, the youth youth market is enormous, so. Where uh, do you think we'll see you next? You know, you, you're at the Olympic and world level, you're here at the youth level, there's high school. What's a focus? Where do you guys move from here? Uh, I think we just kind of, I'm kind of on the slow and steady uh, pace, so I just, each step, you know, a lot of my advertising is word of mouth. So, you know, just adding more to the international, uh, I keep building on the, International just picked up the Bahamas. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. Told them if they need me to come to hand deliver it, I will after this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just slowly picking up teams. Uh, you know, I like to have that connection with the coaches still. You know, generally when you're contacting Barbarian, you're either talking to me or my wife. So you got to start hiring people, right? Yeah, we At some do. Point, right? We, we got some. We got some help coming. Will it be wrestling you know? people? Oh yeah, it's always wrestling people. You know, that's that's all I hire. Uh, yeah. So. All right, you're getting a line here. You got anything else for me? Uh, nope. Just ready for the finals. All right, man. We're gonna be wearing some barbarian stuff this yep. summer. We're excited. All right. Yep. Thanks. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward. Yep.